Hello, my beautiful collective, and welcome to uh, this video. Guys, I do hope you guys uh, can appreciate uh, these types of videos. They are, again, in my non-tarot uh, playlist. These are interesting topics ranging from uh, anywhere from spiritual awakening uh, to the types of connections you could have, to trauma bonds. And uh, what I'm noticing is, um, as I'm doing these videos, are that these topics could be helpful to you. Um, it could uh, be having to do with situations connected to your relationships, your family situations, or even just your self-development, your spiritual growth, okay guys? Um, the topic in these videos um, are going to be, uh, they vary, okay? Um, visit the playlist, check out the videos, they could help you. Um, and just know that the research I've done for uh, these topics were very extensive. Um, I do hope you guys can appreciate the hard work that was put into these videos and I will be um, crediting the articles and the people who wrote these articles and the website in the description box below if you guys want a more concise uh, longer version of what I kind of compacted into a video you know I, I only took from the important points I felt would be useful to you guys um, but you guys could always refer back to the article, the website. Um, I have listed that information in the description box below. Okay, guys? So um, I do hope you enjoy these videos. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, again, everybody's experience is going to be different with every single one of these videos. It could resonate. It might not resonate. Um, and uh, regarding your spiritual uh, awakening journey, okay, you could be at different levels. So just this is take this all these videos with a grain of salt okay it might resonate it might not but take it with a grain of salt um also the articles that i've researched it's not to say that what they say is written in stone but it's just a um an idea of you know with these topics um you know what they're they're sharing okay so again take it with a grain of salt i do hope you enjoy these videos i worked very hard researching it um, without further ado, here we go, guys. Hello, my beautiful collective. It is I, Rosa, Lady Capricorn Tarot. And in this video, we're going to be touching on a very, um, um, how can I say, very interesting topic, okay? The topic is gaslighting. Okay, and why is it important? Because again, in my personal readings, I am faced with a lot of toxic relationships between two people and gaslighting is like the number one uh, situation that is going on in these relationships. Um, in addition to, you know, uh, manipulation and control and all of that toxic stuff. But a lot of people are not familiar with exactly what gaslighting is and what um, you know, what are the uh, signs that you're being gaslighted? And what are the phrases that uh, people that are gaslighting you can be using, okay? So in this video, I'm going to be going over what is gaslighting, okay? And I'm gonna go over 35 gaslighting phrases that you may have heard in your past or that you could be hearing now with somebody that you're dealing with, okay guys? Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it because um, I don't want these videos to be too long I'm going through my pages just to make sure um, That I haven't left anything out, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna say much more There's much more. <laughs> All right. Anyway Let's jump straight in. So let's talk about gaslighting. So Are you in a relationship with someone who causes you to doubt yourself? Okay, um, you may be feeling confused by what the person is telling you or wondering if you are losing, you know, you're losing your mind, right guys? In this dynamic, your memories might seem very clear, right? But the other person deliberately misleads you, okay, with their own story and creates insecurity and self-doubt and confusion in their partner by using certain gaslighting phrases, okay guys? So a person who's gaslighting you is gonna make you feel like you're crazy, okay? Like you never said what you said, like everything is your fault. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you um, a quick example, okay? Here's a phrase. That's not what happened. Or you're overthinking it, okay? It may not be obviously obvious to you right away, right? That you're being gaslighted, but these are actual 
phrases that could be told to you by somebody who's gaslighting you, okay? Gaslighting is a process, right? It happens over a long time and involves uh, telling a partner a false version of the story, telling them uh, they're imagining things or that they're overly dramatic or emotional, okay? This constant deceit creates a, creates a doubt in the other person, okay? In your memories and experiences. So this is a type of abuse, guys, in case you didn't know, okay? Um, this type of abuse empowers the narcissist, okay? Who is a person who feels entitled, arrogant, and feels the need to exploit others, okay? That's a manipulator, okay? Um, they feel superior to other people, but also feel it is necessary to bring others down, namely the partner, okay? If you are being, if you are beginning to uh, wonder if you're a victim of gaslighting, there are some common gaslighting phrases that I'm gonna go ahead and, and start going over with you guys, okay? Because it's 35 of them. Uh, but before we start going back to gaslighting, so gaslighting is, is also a type of psychological abuse. You see guys, I told you it's a psychological abuse aimed at the making at making victims seem like they're crazy, like you're feeling like you're crazy, okay? So again, somebody who's gaslighting you, that is a form of abuse, guys. All right, so let's start going over the 35 <coughs> common gaslighting phrases, okay? Um, and in the article, to some of these phrases, there's a response that you can give the person who is gaslighting you, um, which doesn't require like, uh, it doesn't get to a level where you guys would, would get into like any arguments or anything like that but it's like you standing up for yourself without rocking the boat all right so let's go to number one here's the phrase number one i did that because i was trying to help you okay that's what the person gaslighting you would tell you okay so this is a, a manipulative way to make a person feel guilty or getting angry about certain action or word Claiming a false intention causes the abused person to begin having self-doubt and to question their own interpretation. You might find yourself apologizing, okay guys, where you don't need to. However, it's suggested that you keep your response simple by stating to the person gaslighting you, you're going to tell them, I understand your perspective, and then you just disengage, okay? Leave it there. Number two, phrase number two, that's not what happened. Okay, that's what they tell you. A gaslighter will change the version of a story to however they want it, right? Then they'll, they will persuade you that you are the one who is wrong and you're the one who's wrong or has a faulty memory. It won't be true and when you recognize that, trust yourself and don't take the blame challenge their reality by journaling or reflecting back on situations and recognizing their gaslighting and manipulation uh, for what for what it was and see the situation accurately okay number three they tell you you're crazy a narcissist uh, will want to make you question yourself okay guys this could lead to low self-confidence and even anxiety number four phrase number four this is why you don't have friends, okay? That's what they will tell you. So one of one of the gaslighter's tactics is to isolate their partner or make them feel uh, devalued, okay? Um, they may even go as far as to talk to anyone and everyone about your lack of caring, empathy, okay? And understanding and commitment to, to the relationship while making themselves out to be the long suffering victim of your emotional abuse so they'll turn the shit on you okay um, my beautiful collective if, if if you're dealing with a gaslighter number five they tell you this is your own fault gaslighters are great by twisting the blame to cause doubt and confusion stop the self-blame Learning to let go of blaming yourself and recognizing the toxic behavior of the other partner is a critical recovery. Number six is, uh, that is hardly important. That's the number six phrase. And um, 
they will look to uh, trivialize your concerns or suggestions, right? Which is another way to devalue a person. Number seven phrase is, that's not what I meant. If you confront your narcissistic partner about something they said, okay, um, that was hurtful, they will deny what was said and or change the meaning. Um, this leaves you feeling like you could be interpreting things the wrong way, right? And cause more self-doubt in you. Um, however, the way that you took what you said is probably true. So in other words, if you feel like they were wrong in what they said to you, that they're trying to gaslight you and put it on you, go with what you feel because that's probably, well, I'm not going to say probably, that's quite possibly what's going on is that they're wrong and you're not. Number eight is it's not a that big of a deal, right? So that's another way to trivialize your feelings or work. Um, you know, to state that the situation is not as, you know, a big of a deal as you think it is. Number nine is uh, you're too sensitive. It says, um, when you try to express yourself to a gaslighter, they they will diminish your feelings. They will diminish your feelings. And um, it's another way for them to make you feel like you have no value. A good response to that comment, to that phrase is, my feelings are valid i'm sorry my feelings are valid and to be clear i'm not asking you to validate them okay so that's a good response to counter this you're too sensitive okay um this response reasserts your right to have your own emotions without being told you're too sensitive okay to for feeling them um they don't get to feel how you should feel or what emotions are appropriate or not appropriate okay for a given situation guys these phrases are very trigger triggering because like i told you guys i was um married to one of these okay one of these characters here okay and every single one of these just about every single one of these phrases i heard and it's just so triggering so i'm hoping that if you're dealing with somebody who's gaslighting you in a connection get the hell out because this is like too much so number 10 it was a joke okay so calling someone calling someone a joke is a great way to passively put another person down okay in the case of gaslighting it is even something more it calls into question your ability to discern truth from fiction okay guys number 11 phrase you're overthinking it okay this gaslighting phrase is a way to belittle what you have to say so basically they want you to think that that you are assuming too much, okay, and the facts aren't true. Number 12, you're being paranoid, okay? Instead of the gaslighter owning up to something they, they are suspected of doing, they will try um, they will try and make it and make you think that you're just being paranoid. Also think about also think about um, also I'm sorry also think about okay also think about making it making you suspect your partner of doing something wrong wait that didn't make sense let me just i'm sorry guys my notes are very sloppy i apologize anyway what kind of evidence is there so okay so i'm gonna break it down okay because my notes are sloppy but um what I'm getting from this thing here where they're saying you're just being paranoid, okay? Um, again, they're gaslighting you into feeling like, you know, that you're making, like, this is all in your head, okay? But, again, what you're feeling is what's there, okay, guys? Um, so, uh, if, you're, if you're suspecting that they're doing something, ask yourself, what kind of evidence is there to support your thoughts, okay? Because uh, them telling you you're paranoid and you have evidence to what you're saying... Okay, again, they could be gaslighting you to make you feel like you're crazy and nothing is going on. But if you have concrete evidence, you already know something is going on. Don't let them get in your head. Okay, I apologize. The notes I'm, I took, okay, for this particular number 12, this phrase, I was just like, it, it's not very clear. So I apologize for that, guys. But I broke it down to you. Okay, let's go to 13. They tell you, you're making that up. So basically, right, basically, you are being accused of lying okay this will cause major frustration and will just feed the narcissist when you try to argue or explain 
any of your words will be used against you and could even cause shame okay the best response is this you're going to tell them whether or not you believe me doesn't change the truth of what happened okay um i know what i experienced saw heard and my memory is accurate okay this response puts the focus back on the reality rather than allowing it to dissolve into an argument i mean to to de to allowing it to uh, devolve into an argument um number 14 they tell you you're overreacting like being accused of overthinking your actions will also be called into questions okay into question number 15 they tell you i don't know what you want me to say well this is a way for your partner to make you feel like you won't accept anything they say right so it's your problem okay so they're not owning up to anything they're just saying i don't know what you want me to say like they're pretty much telling you it's your problem okay i have nothing to say anyway so here we go number 16 phrase everyone agrees with me a way to make you feel um, ganged up on okay the gaslighter wants you to believe you must be wrong when everyone else agrees with them number 17 how dare you assume i mean how dare you accuse me of that okay this is a stronger way of saying you're paranoid. And guys, it looks like these phrases all keeps going back to they're accusing you of lying or being paranoid or going crazy or you're nuts, okay? So it says, um, this is a stronger way of saying you're paranoid. It turns the accusation back on you, which could lead to shame and maybe even feeling a need to apologize, okay? 17, okay? Number 17 phrase. I'm sorry, 18 phrase. I can't have any negative emotions around you, okay? A gaslighting uh, phrase like this is to make you feel like you are the one who is being insensitive. The idea is to make you feel bad. Number 19, you're, o you're always blowing things out of proportion, okay? And she didn't give a description for that one, okay? So number 20, don't worry about it right now okay that's that phrase it says a way to put off conversation and not give you the time you need to express yourself and there's new york in the background i apologize guys okay number 21 you have no clue this statement is an effort by the gaslighter to shut down the conversation they may use it they may use it especially when they are feeling threatened by what you're saying and want to drag you down so and also with this statement you have no clue I'm gonna throw in, okay, I'm gonna add to this statement that they might even end up walking away from you because they know that you're on them and that they, they can't defend themselves, so they might end up walking away, okay? Number 22, who are they going to believe? You know, somebody tells you, who are they gonna believe? The gaslighter believes themselves to be superior and without error. This phrase intends to make you doubt yourself. Number 23, well, you're not perfect either, okay? As you expect them to be perfect, this is a way to deflect the behavior back onto you, okay, guys? Number 24, let's forgive and forget. This is a sure way to make you feel guilty if you can't forgive and forget, okay, guys? It is also making the assumption that you need forgiveness too. Basically, it's just a way to shut down the conversation, okay? Number 25, why are you always bringing up the past okay since a gaslighter likes to reinvent the past they will feel threatened if you bring up the truth about the past okay this is a way uh, to twist things around and take the focus off themselves it's a way to make you feel like the bad guy you know instead 26 this is how you treat me after everything i've done for you okay talk about a guilt trip guys okay um Again, this is a way to deflect their bad behavior back onto you. And it makes it sound like they're the victims, okay, guys? Number 27 phrase, it says, we already talked about this, don't you remember? Okay, a tactic used to make you question your own memory, okay? In the Gaslighter's reinvented version of the past, they'll try to make, it, to make you believe what they want. Number 28, you always have to be right okay 
It's ironic that the gaslighter, who in fact always needs to be right, would accuse their partner of the same. Number 29 phrase, I think you need counseling. This is a way to invalidate your thoughts and feelings, guys, okay? Instead of listening and communicating about them, the gaslighter tries to make it sound like it's not normal to feel the way you feel, okay, guys? Number 30, you have an active imagination, okay? Similar to stating that you are making something up, this statement also is meant to frustrate you, okay? Stick to your guns and respond that you know what the truth is, okay, guys? Number 31, you think you're so smart, okay? This phrase is a way of saying you are not smart and is meant to devalue what you say, okay, guys? Number 32, you're not making any sense, okay? This is another common gaslighting phrase that is intended to make the other person appear crazy. Number 33, why are you trying to confuse me? Okay, this phrase is the most ironic of all, guys. Um, all the while, the gaslighter is trying to confuse you, but they will turn it around and make it look like you're confusing them. Number 34, get your facts straight, okay? This is another gaslighting phrase that makes you question yourself. Always remember that the goal of the gaslighter is to make themselves look good and you look bad, okay, guys? And number 35, the last phrase that, um, that's in the article is, you never told me that, okay? One of the goals of the gaslighter is to make you not trust your memory, okay, guys? Remember that. Before believing that you are losing it, think about whether anyone else has brought up the fact that you don't remember things, okay? Chances are, um, they're, they're the only ones, the gaslighter that accuse you of this, okay? And that your memory is just fine. So, in closing, how to respond to ga uh, gaslighting phrases, okay? With any of these gaslighting phrases, the article states the key to a good response is not to feed the narcissist, okay guys? It is important to learn about the narcissist's behavior so that you can recognize you know, you can recognize it and respond with a clear head, okay? Try not to argue or justify yourself as this only tends to backfire, okay? And give the narcissist more ammo to use against you, okay, guys? So um, I'm stopping here, okay? This is where I'm ending this video. I don't want these videos to be long. The article is in the description box below. It's very extensive, very, very informative if you guys want to check it out. Um, it's going to be in the description box below. I am just giving you the short of, you know, the information I've researched in every one of these videos so that you guys don't have to go through long-winded articles, okay, guys? If you are dealing with a narcissist and gaslighter, okay, guys, get out of that situation as soon as possible. And again, guys, I want to reiterate, this doesn't have to just be in a romantic relationship, okay? You could be dealing with a narcissist slash a gaslighter in um you know friendships or even family situations okay guys don't ever let anybody make you feel like you're going crazy like you're crazy like you're a liar um none of that okay guys and these people are very toxic people that will bring you down and um you know diminish who you are as a person okay because they're good at gaslighting and manipulation okay guys um so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did you already know what to do like share subscribe to this channel also, hit that notification bell so you guys will be alerted when I post a video, when I premiere a video, or when I go live. And until next time, guys, have a great day, a great evening. Do know that I love and appreciate you all. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, guys. Bye.